man, look at that beautiful giveaway truck. Could be yours, every $20 you spend. Website, link in the description. We got the first gen here, the new, the new truck. The, the new truck, the old new truck. It's gonna be my first time starting this cold start, as in like it's 90 degrees out, but I'm saying like letting it sit overnight. Starts the same, starts awesome. I mean, it's hot out, but it starts awesome. What is up guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. We have got some things to talk about today because um, I've gotten a lot of comments from you guys that go completely against what the original plan was for this truck. So, but that's but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'll, I'll get to that in just a minute here. Gotta get these, gotta get the, gotta get the AC going here. Cause it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty freaking hot out. So, I think it's supposed to be like 90s the entire week, which for me personally is way too hot. But anyway, so there's some things I want to, uh, I want to talk to you guys about this truck, kind of like a plan and a gist, or kind of ask you guys what you guys would want to see more out of it. It's just a high mileage, non-intercooled first gen, man. But it's cherry, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's nice. Like, the dash is in perfect shape. The body's in pretty darn good shape. There's only a small rust spot on the rock, on, on the rocker, on the driver's side. And then, like, a little two inch patch of rust on the fender behind the moldings on each side, passenger and driver's side. So, other than that, it's not in bad shape at all. There's no, like, Bondo anywhere. He said, like, he's like, it's, I mean, it's, it's in, it's in great shape. It just sounds like an old tractor sitting here idling, but I'm excited about this truck and what we're gonna do with it. I've already got some parts on the way. Believe it or not, last night I immediately got on that. And uh, if you guys can see here, shipping out some merch. These are all uh, key tags and stuff, which, by the way, like the key tags and stuff, it looks like a ton in there, but they are on limited supply. So when they're when they're gone, the key, key tags, lanyards, decals, stuff like that, when they sell out, they're gone, like they're done. So if you guys wanna get entered in to win, truck like this one right here which is just mint and we got another one being restored right now which is a five speed if you guys want to win a freaking cool truck the week of July 4th this giveaway ends July 2nd a giveaway is over but every $20 you spend on the website link in description to grab some merch some cool t-shirts like like this you know just a lot of cool cool stuff some aren't diesel specific or rolling coal specific anything like that some of them are just like cool t-shirts that go to any car guy, muscle car guy, truck guy, anything in general, but um, there's some really cool stuff. You guys should definitely go check it out, but we're going to get to the BMV so I can pay some registration and plates and crap like that, and then we're also going to go to the post office and drop off a bunch more merch. At least the speedometer lets you know your give or take going the speed limit within a, I don't know, within a handful of miles. It just kind of like bounces around, especially at lower speeds, usually under 35. I mean, the tag just like randomly, the needle just jumps up five miles an hour, down five, up, down ten, like stabilizes all over the place, but it's kind of funny. So I'm out here cruising in the old first gen here, the unknown mileage first gen for all we know it has almost a million miles and it's been overhauled three times, like I have no idea. I, I really don't know, don't really care, it runs good, it runs awesome. It runs awesome, and now it doesn't puff any smoke. Everything's bone stock. It has a massive muffler under there too. A new exhaust, but a massive muffler. It was not loud, but we got some new things on the way to change all that. We're taking a little detour back to the house and just got done chipping out some stuff, putting the truck in my name and registering and all that stuff. So all that stuff's done and out of the way. Dad said there's a, he said a 79 Ford maybe. I think he said it was a flatbed. So I'm just gonna take a look at it at least and see what I think. I think we're coming up on it here. I don't know, he didn't say if it was in like great shape, not great shape. Now it's on an unknown road in an unknown location, you know, but it's a cool truck. It would be cool to swap something like that because I do like those old 70s, I think that's a 70s part. I do like those old 70s trucks and I also wouldn't mind doing like a 72 Chevy four wheel drive swapping something like that I think that'd be something kind of cool too but I don't know let's get to the barn here real quick back to the shop and go over what I wanted to talk about today about this truck man that giveaway truck though guys could be yours link in description every $20 you spend gets another entry to win it in case you guys didn't get a good look at the truck yet today or in yesterday's video 
1991 non intercool first gen. It's actually in pretty darn good shape. But let me talk to you why I'm a little bit frustrated about this. We've got the other first one right there in case you guys haven't seen it and you're new. It's a 92. That one is intercooled. Um, 85,000 original miles versus this one's unknown. And that one, uh, everything works tack. The tachometer, odometer, everything is perfect. Let's talk about why I'm a little bit kind of like, I'm a little bit torn on what to do with the truck at this point. And it's not, it's nothing bad. It's just something that kind of, how do you put it? I'm kind of torn on what to do with it now um, because I made a video probably, this might have been five days ago now, and I said, I'm buying a cheap 12 valve. You know, I'm going to buy a cheap 12 valve, something real cheap, so like I don't feel bad, like because I got, I don't have any money wrapped up in it, so I'm not going to feel bad, you know, like beating on the thing and just, you know, whatever, just like having a freaking heck of a time and just not building it. I had no intentions of buying a beater and like building it, like sinking money into injectors, sinking money into, you know, you know, Governor Springs and sink money into, you know, um, exhaust systems and paint work or wheels and tires. Like, I like nothing. I was just going to buy a truck basically just because it had that, you know, block sitting under the hood and just beat the tar out of it. Like, as in, not, not like taking a sledge to the windshield, not stupid stuff. I'm just saying, like, put it through its paces. Like, that was my goal with the truck. And then once I put the video up last night, you guys were like, there's probably getting close to 700 comments and probably 98% are like, no, 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 don't, do not beat that truck, do not do anything with that, like just build it, make it a show truck, make, you know, restore it, make it a drag truck, like make it a street truck. Pretty much everybody chickened out and they're like, no, 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 like once they actually see a truck, like in their mind, it sounds, it's like, oh cool, yeah, get a beater truck and just beat the crap out of it for content, it'd be cool. Then once they actually see the truck, then they're like, no, 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 no. It's a, it's a running truck, you can't, you can't do that. So I don't know, I'm kind of like, do I stick with my plan and just, not necessarily kill the thing, but just freaking have a lot of fun with it, um, putting it through its paces, or here's the other idea. We can still kind of put it through its paces, abuse it, abuse it, but like street abuse it. So not like running different fuels in it, not like janking up with stuff, like just completely that you know is gonna mess it up in terms of fueling and stuff. Like not messing up, like just not like messing it up, like in a sense of abusing in doing stuff that you know is gonna cause the truck issues. Put it through its paces through stuff that is more of like a safe test, I guess you could say, or just like a safe um, kind of abuse, if that makes sense. Like, you know, burnouts and fuel mods and just horsing it up and stuff like that. But doing it in a way that, you know, is not really going to harm the truck beyond, you know, what it's what it's going to be able to do anyhow. Here's our other option, and I think you guys might like this one more. And it goes against the whole reason I even bought the truck, but it is a nice truck. Don't know the mileage, don't, don't really care, honestly. If it runs good, it runs good, who cares? I don't know if you guys are thinking the same thing that I am. The paint scheme is okay. But I would want to completely, now this is, like I said, this is going completely against what I was going to do with this truck to a degree. I wasn't going to do anything to the truck. I was just going to buy a truck, beat the tar out of it, whatever. You know, like just like experiment with the thing, have fun. But pretty much everybody doesn't want to do that. So you got to do what the people want to do. So what we're going to do is take the truck and what we could do, put some 20 by 12s on it, some 265, 50 R20 tires on it. Some street tires, either a Nitto 420s or something that's a little bit more aggressive, not necessarily strictly street, which is like a Terra Grappler. Maybe put a two inch spacer in the rear so that it stances out with the front equally. We could do the full truck, a metallic silver with a lot of flake in the paint so in the sunlight it like, it like shines and sparkles and stuff. We're gonna do a stack in the bed, is what I'm thinking I would do is a stack in the bed, like an eight inch stack, 36 inches tall. Maybe do some different seats in it, maybe redo the flooring in it, some other stuff. Blacked out headlights, get a paintable grill, take the original off, I'm not gonna scrap it of course, but take the original off, put a paintable grill on it, and have a whole truck, like everything, have it all painted like a metallic silver, like I said with the flake, have the grill matched. Uh, maybe do black inserts in the grill though to keep that you know contrast. Black wheels, black stack, um, blacked out headlights, some stuff like that. Maybe on the back of the truck, since the truck's gonna be silver, have like the black, the le Dodge lettering, because it is like stamped in the tailgate, have that Dodge lettering painted black. So you have the black wheels, the black stack, the black lettering, the blacked out headlights, the black out grill inserts, but the whole rest of the truck is like a metallic silver, and it would just look, it would just look awesome. 
And then when it comes to under the hood, what I would do is probably swap out my turbo with the HX35 that I took off the dually because it's 200,000 mile turbo. Never had any issues with the turbo. Um, put that turbo in it, maybe some 150 horse injectors, some 3K governor springs, turn up the fuel a little bit. A subscriber actually sent a long time ago a 40 horse, I think it's supposed to be a 40 horse increase fuel pin for the VE pump. Some other stuff. So the truck wouldn't be like an insane, holy crap, the thing is like a wicked fast truck. But I don't know what all that would bring it up to horsepower wise. I would like to do with the truck though is somehow without spending a ton of money, like I said, injectors, governor springs, just, just basic, basic stuff. Um, I'd like to be able to somehow get the truck to like 300-ish, maybe, give or take maybe 350. I don't know if that's a stretch or not for what the stock fuel system can handle. Let me know down in the comments. Like, I never mess with one of these trucks in terms of power, except for the first gen, but all we did was 50 horse injectors on the first gen. But obviously, some other new stuff on it, some other intake stuff and crap like that. That would be my plan. Like, if I didn't put it through its paces like I was going to, that would be the next plan. So, and then also some like 5% tint all the way around, make the cab black, so... I think that would look really good, like a silver and black theme. I think that would look good, and I'd probably have the same guy that's painting the dually right now. I'd probably have him paint this truck. Um, and just some fix some small stuff, like fix a real small little rust spot on the fenders, get rid of the moldings, um, just stuff like that. Like just make it like a cool old truck. The bed really needs bed line. It really needs like worked in bed line and stuff just so it's clean. So that's my idea with the truck guys. Let me know what you guys want to see. Do you guys want me to just put it through its paces or do you guys want to see that build happen? I'd probably go with some 20 by 12 anthems. Like I said, 265, 50, R20 tires, either some, something nitto, either the Terra Grapplers or the um, 420s. Metallic silver with a with the black grill inserts, the color match with a grill color match, a different grill, but color match it. You know, the black wheels, the black stack, but then, you know, it would have just enough black and silver to look good. Or would you not? So, let me know down in the comments below. So I got my dad here, he just got back with the King Ranch and unloading my brother from, picking up my brother from mowing and stuff like that. Went through the whole rundown with my plan on that truck if I didn't put it through its paces. But what would, your, what would you say with a truck like that, put it through its paces or make like a restored mint street truck out of it? When I have a truck that gets run down, like let's say, why do you right here? Yeah. It's run down because we used it. Yeah. But I don't abuse it. Wow. So I think it would be fun to do that, but in the same sense with that truck, I think it would be one that if it were my buy, I'd probably put a little bit of time, a little TLC to it, and see if we can put in some power be, uh, behind there. And uh, it'd be a cool two wheel drive uh, street truck, track truck sure. or street yeah. truck or something like that. Definitely. So. Yeah, that's kind of his thought. And, and see, and like I told him, like everybody changed their mind. Once they actually saw a truck, like in their mind, like, oh, it's cool, just get a cheap truck and abuse it. And then once you actually get one, they're like, no, it's a it's a truck, you can't do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but It's um, got a good base. I mean, that bo the frame is clean. Oh, the frame is really clean. I showed Even him the yesterday. engine bay, like that's the thing. It's like most engine bays, you know, they're dirty. This one's not. Yeah. I and mean, it's just, for what it is, it's a nice one. Intercool that thing, put a little bit of power, some turbos, injectors. When I say turbos, turbo. turbo. <laughs> yeah. Although I would love to put it, the compound system in the uh, my first gen. Yeah. So it's not it's not a truck buying competition between us. It's, <laughs> it's not what it is. Whatever. But it's, it's what it's turning into. Okay. But uh, yeah. So yeah, that's that's his take on it. I kind of gave you my take on it. I'm really either way. It's, I bought the truck for you guys to kind of decide what you guys want to do with it and then I'll kind of weigh it out and do what the majority of people want to do because you guys are the viewers, couldn't do this stuff without you guys. So we want to make sure that you guys are kept happy with the content provided and uh, all that good stuff. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, do not forget to enter the 12 valve giveaway. These are trucks that we don't do this kind of stuff with, okay? That like doing burnouts and crap like that. But um, link in description, go check out the website. If you wanna see the trucks, maybe you're new, go back, watch a few videos. You guys can see the trucks that we're giving away. Um, well, truck that we're giving away, but two trucks to pick from. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,